For a non-frequent flyer and traveler like myself, recurring changes and updates to travel protocol can be a challenge. This year, as we gradually adapt to the new normal, we are faced with significant changes in almost everything around us. December is probably one of the most busiest months of the year because, as customary, it's during this time of the year where most people take a vacation to celebrate the holidays with family and loved ones. If you happen to book a domestic flight and or is set to go home to the province via land travel, listen and watch carefully because this video may just save you a lot of time, money, effort, inconvenience, frustration, hustle, and this may just give you an enjoyable ride despite layers of added travel requirements in accordance to the health and safety protocol implemented for LGU during this tumultuous time. The last thing you want to experience when traveling is to be like a chicken running around with its head up due to lack of information. Trust me, I have had few trips this year and I have seen father, mother, ate, kuya returning OFWs ended up getting rejected due to insufficient travel documents. Crying their eyes out in the airport and bus terminals. Ah, uh -uh, we don't want that. No. And that is why I am giving you all the right reasons in this world to watch till the end of this video for guidance and thank you later. First, if you're taking a domestic flight, I would suggest taking Philippine Airlines because I have had few trips, scheduled flights with Cebu Pacific this year that all get cancelled. Subsequently, I have heard similar stories with friends whose flight with Cebu Pacific either got cancelled or moved to a different date. Such a huge inconvenience. For working individuals, every day counts. And for every change in your travel schedule means lesser days spent with family and loved ones and to some extent may mean additional expenses on your part, which we can afford to cover during this time. Right, let's get down to business. If you're returning to a restricted place of destination, you would need to secure the following documents. Otherwise, you can forget about going home. Shut up. First, letter of acceptance from your local government unit of your place of destination. Second, health certificate from the barangay of your place of origin. Third, barangay clearance or certificate from your place of origin. Four, photocopy of your government-issued IDs. Fifth, travel pass from the Philippine National Police in the municipality of your place of origin. Non-restricted areas may not require you to secure a letter of acceptance. To know if your place of destination is restricted or non-restricted, please head to the barangay office to inquire. You've got all the complete requirements? Cool! You're all fired up and ready to go. At the date of the travel, leave the house early. Expect a long line of travelers in the airport, seaport, and bus terminal. If possible, check in online ahead of time. At the airport, ask the guard. Ah, shut up! At the airport, ask the guard or any airport personnel where you should line up for document screening. Make sure you have in place incident envelope or a clutch bag that is easily accessible. Believe me, the line here can be long. If you have viewed for a social amelioration program this year, expect a similar scene. You want to be first in line to come early. Once your documents are verified, you can now proceed to the check-in counter if you have baggage to check in and get your boarding pass. Now you're all set! Wait for the boarding pass announcement and enjoy your pass. To those returning to the province via land travel, those restricted place and destination will have its LGU to pick you up from the airport straight to your respective barangay or municipality. So make sure what is wrong with you? So make sure you coordinate this with your receiving LGU or barangay to get the full details because protocols may vary from LGU to LGU. Otherwise, you may get stranded in the airport or in the border. No, you don't want to sleep on the bench. Your respective LGU representative will take you straight to your municipality or designated venue for profiling and document check. Here, expect to be interviewed, so practice your answer and rehearse your use of power words. Just kidding. No, be as authentic and as honest with your answer. Remember, for every lie you make, post a threat to your family and loved ones. Once you're done with profiling and your LGU has cleared your travel documents, you are now all set to come home to your respective barangays and the loving arms of your family. Woot woot! They can now welcome you with a nice parade. But wait, there's more. 
Most restricted places of destination, if not all, impose a strict two-way queue in the isolation facility your barangay or local government unit have prepared. You may appeal for a home queue like in my case, but this would need to be coordinated with your barangay captain and the nurse duly assigned to your barangay. Preferably, do this beforehand because the local nurse would need to inspect your house if home queue is after all feasible for you. Home queue means they are going to literally isolate you from the outside world. And for this, they require a potential home queue facility to have a restroom inside. In my case, they cover the front and back area of our kitchen detached from our main house with trapal. And food will just be handed over to you from the outside through a tiny opening. It's like you were in prison. Yes, welcome to Prison Break Season 2020. Hmm. Think of it as if you were sort of camping or into the Big Brother house so you won't get bored and go nuts. Once you have completed your two-week home queue, congratulations! Your family is waiting for you in the outside world. Hugs and kisses to follow. Hope my person travel experience helps or will be able to help you have a peaceful, convenient travel experience. If it did, I told you, you can thank me later. Now it's your turn to help another brain so if you haven't already, Please like and share this video and oh, don't forget to subscribe and smash the bell icon for you the first to know whenever I have new videos out. Happy Holidays! XOXO 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 At the airport, ask the guard Ah, shut up! At the airport, ask the guard or any airport personnel where you should line up for document screening. Make sure you have in place incident envelope or a clutch bag that is easily accessible. Ah! So make sure you coordinate this with your receiving LGU or barangay to get the full details because protocols may vary from LGU to LGU. Otherwise, you may get stranded in the airport or in the border. No, you don't want to sleep in the bench. No, you don't want to sleep in the bench. No, you don't want to sleep in the bench. No, you don't want to sleep on the bench. Most restricted place and destination will have its LGU to pick you up from the airport straight to your respected barangay or municipality. So make sure... What is wrong with you? So make sure you coordinate this with your receiving LGU or barangay because protocols from LGU to LGU can vary. Once you have completed your two-week home queue, congratulations! Your family is waiting for you in the outside world. Hugs and kisses to follow. Hugs and kisses to follow. Hmm. Hmm. Think of it as if you were sort of camping or into the Big Brother house so you wouldn't get bored and go nuts. <laughs>